Blackberry Diary. Ooh. Ooh. Part one, how to make a blackberry bramble basket. Roland? Yep. First, you're going to need to harvest some blackberry vines. Just get some clippers and a pair of gloves and get out there and get some. And once you get your blackberry vines, you got all these leaves and thorns on them and you want to get most of those off before you start weaving. So to get a big thick pair of leather gloves or some kind of thick gloves and run your hand along this stem, grab down tight and just, just like that. Let's do another one here. Let's go. Stop recording. You can keep recording. Oh, I stopped. I... No, you didn't. How do you know? Okay, now I stopped. Did you? <laughs> I'm just going to zoom in on you. Peter Broderick. Okay, so once you get your vines all cut and stripped and brought back home, what you're going to do to start is you're going to find some of the thicker ones you've got and you're going to cut yourself six pieces around equal length. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then in addition to that, you want one that is about half the length of the others, or maybe a little more than half the length. So, then you're going to set that one that's half the length aside for the time being. And to start off, you're going to get three of these in one hand and three of these in the other and sort of make a cross with them. These ones here are going to be like the ribs of your basket. So, you want to get them nice and even. And then you're going to want to find the thinnest vine you have. So, let me see what I've got. Preferably a nice long and thin piece. This isn't too long, uh, but that'll do because it's nice and thin, this little guy. So, this first part is kind of the hardest part. Once you get this first part down, the basket will start taking shape and it's not such a pain. You're going to take your thin one, and you're going to see how I've just pulled that around one side. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to go, you're going to just kind of twist it around that first one. See how that's twisted around there. Pull that nice and tight as you can. Now, you might get cut up in this process because there are still pokey things here and you could try and remove all the thorns, but it's kind of cool having thorns on your basket when you're done. So, all right, we've got that twisted around that first one. Now, we're gonna do just the same on the next piece. Put that side over, bring the side from the back, Twist it over. Now, I'm gonna pull these as tight as we can. Pull those as tight as we can. And then do the same on the next one. You put the one that's in front behind and you put the one that's behind in front. And you cinch that down nice and tight. Now, these wanna fall all over the place here because I'm trying to hold it up to show you, but if you have it down on your your knee or somewhere like that, it's a bit easier to keep it all together. Now we're gonna, we're just gonna do the same thing, but go around the corner here. So, pull it around the corner, one goes behind, one goes in front. We're gonna just keep going around each one of these. Okay, I've gone around the whole thing. Now, ideally, I'd get rid of as much of this space in here as possible. Get this nice and tight. I don't like all that space there, but this is the principle. Okay, now we're just gonna keep going around a whole nother time. Okay, now this one's a bit short, so when it starts to run out, well, they're both getting short, but luckily this one's got a bit more. It does help when you're starting out to fold that piece so that it's a bit uneven so that you know you'll be left with one piece a bit longer than the other that way 
you don't have to replace both pieces at the same time. Now, you want to keep going with another very thin piece. Now, when you are running out, you're just simply going to stick another piece along with it and just go with them both for a few goes. And then uh, when the one runs out, you just keep going with the new one. Great. So, it's kind of run out now. And you can see my other one's about to run out too, so we'll get we'll get a replacement for that going here quickly as well. Okay, yeah, let's get uh, another one on here. Same thing, just stick it in along with the, the one that's running out and use them together for a minute. Looking good. Now I can see that these are gone a bit uneven, so I'm gonna see if I can adjust that at all now that this is a bit more secure. A bit better. Okay. It's a bit more even now. Just keep going around here. Now as we're doing this, we want to start to space these ribs out a little bit. We want to bend them so that eventually they'll all be sort of evenly spread out. But we don't want to, you know, we don't want to break them and we don't want to crease them either if we can. So just each time you go around, especially when you're at one of these corners, take a couple and squeeze them a bit closer together. Just keep going around. As you're going as well, you can just press things together and cinch things up, get that weave as tight as possible. Now, remember our seventh little piece that was half as long as the other main ribs, right? So, at some point, you're gonna, you're gonna stick this in there along with the rest. So, you can see, I've got my little cross here, and we're gonna stick this, stick this one just in between a couple of the ones that are more spaced apart, just stick it into the weave. And the reason for this is going to become apparent in a minute, but for now, just stick it in there. So it's just sticking out a little bit at the back, but I'm just going to get it in there and start going around with that extra piece in there. And that extra one, it's going to be a bit loose at first probably, but the more we go around and get more weaves around it, the more secure it'll become. I'm running out again, so I'm going to add another piece in. Okay folks, at this stage, we're gonna switch to another type of weave. This is kind of gonna be the base of our basket, if you can imagine that. And these, they're all gonna start to bend up and get woven around. So as we continue to weave, we wanna encourage that shape. We wanna be bending these up, all right? And the way we start weaving now is instead of twisting around each rib here, we're gonna get both of our things on the same side of each rib and we just go take them both and we go behind and then we put them both in front of the next and then the next rib we go behind and then of course in front and so now this is why we had added in that extra rib because before we had six of these things making three on each side, right? And so we had 12 ribs all together, but we need an uneven number of ribs so that this motion of going behind one and in front of the next, it continues to alternate always as you go up. So behind one, in front of the next. Behind one, in front of the next. Now, at some point here, I'm running out, right? One of these is running out and the other one is gonna keep going. And I'm just gonna keep using one now. All right, I'm gonna let that other one run out and we'll trim off these extra bits at the end. So don't worry about little bits being left astray. But we'll just go along with one now. Behind one, in front of the other. Now remember to keep encouraging these things to bend upward. Otherwise, you're just gonna have a big flat thing. You gotta bend these into that basket shape. Now, same thing. When your weaver starts to run out, you just run another one along with it for a minute. Let's 
see that starting to take the basket shape a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm just gonna move this inside. See how we're doing? Now I'm still, as I go around, I'm trying to even out these ribs here. Just space them out as evenly as possible. We're gonna just keep going with this. And then there's a different technique we're gonna use just to finish up the basket once we're done with this bit of weaving. So maybe I'll move my pile of dirty laundry out of the shop. I'm also going to try to sort of cinch this all down as I go along. I want this as tight as I can make it, with as little holes as possible. Okay, I've used up all my vines here and this is a perfect place to finish up the basket. So let's just one last time, just cinch everything up as much as we can. You can also pull on these as you cinch it down. Try not to break them though. Okay, you've got all these ribs sticking out here. You take one and you bend it in front of the one to the right of it and then behind the second one. We're gonna go in front, the first one and behind the second. Then you take the next one and you do the same thing in front of the next one and behind the second. You want to be very careful not to break them at this stage as well. Next one, same thing. You just go all the way around the basket doing that. When you get to your, your last couple ones, you're going to need to kind of tuck them in the ones before that in there and that sucker over. Now, the last part, very fun. Just trim off the bits, the extra bits that you don't like. Just go around here. There we go. It smells incredible. Here's the basket that we've just made. And next to it is one that I made about a week ago with some fruit in it. You can see it's lost some of that bright green sheen. Bright green sheen. Next to that is a basket that I made about a year ago and you can see those ones have gone totally brown. And don't worry, the basket didn't shrink up. These baskets were all just made in different sizes. There we have it. The next episode will continue.